Hello, how's it going, guys? So, uh, looks like you had a little straw poll here, and it looks like you guys want me to choose a game. A game of my choosing. And, uh, you know, we're gonna try out the new Amnesia game. How's that sound? Anybody want to try that with me? What do you think? Is that a thing? Maybe? Anybody? Is this good? Anybody? Yeah, sounds cool. You should play more than 30 minutes. You, well, you know how this works then. So I'm actually only allowed to play the first half an hour of the game because it's not out yet for another two weeks or so. Um, <laughs> so we can look at the beginning. Uh, there is also a chance that you guys might have to bear with me a little bit just because of the fact that it is a little glitchy on my system. I actually recorded uh, some play of this last night and it didn't really come out that well, so I've done my best to try and turn down as many of the options as I can. And uh, honestly, I'm not going to really end up being scared of anything in this, because I've already seen this game, well, the beginning of it anyway. Um, oh, i got to turn the music way down, though, because it's super, super loud. Alright, we'll have to come up with a nice medium here. Let me know how this sounds. <clears throat> Uh, so how does this sound, voice versus game volume, now that the loud stuff should be kicking in? Check, 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 check. Game is silent. Can you hear it? Very quiet. Alright, I'll turn it up some. How about now? Check, check, check. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check. <clears throat> I have it up at about 80% on the game volume, that should be better. Alright, so I guess we'll just start a new game of this. And I guess I should, like, do one of these, right? Oh, no, it's not really scary. Game too loud now. Well, I don't want the game to be too loud. Dude, I'm not the obnoxious horror game person. I don't even really play horror games. How about this? I turned it down, like, 20%. Is that better? Got good music, I have to say. Yeah, Haru. Game was perfect before? Oh, come on. Alright, we'll go back to- we'll go to 69%. Nobody- nobody should be upset with that. Okay. At least let us see the pig. PewDiePie, let us see the pig. <laughs> Where's the heartbeat monitor? Oh, I don't have that thing plugged in right now. Alright, so we've got 69% volume. And let's start a new game. So you guys can ask me questions about it, I think is the most important thing. Uh, I'm not sure if my indie impressions of this is going to end up going on, uh, up, rather, because of the performance issues. Um, we will see. I actually wrote to the developer to see if he could help me out, because I think it's just an issue with the fact that I have an ATI card. We'll see. It also takes, like, ages to load, too, so I have a feeling it's something like that. Oh wow, look at my video, like, landed exactly at the edge of where the uh, that box happens to be. I always think it's funny when those synchronicities happen. Turn off the lights, but then you can't see me. I mean, I could do that, and it doesn't really bother me. I'm not going to be more scared. PewDiePie got in trouble for this? I don't think so. I mean, unless he showed the whole game or something. I don't really know what he did. But we're allowed to show, like, the first half an hour, or do little preview snippets, as long as they're not sequentially ordered. You have four face cams on each side of the screen like a fly. <laughs> That's a good suggestion, I like that. It's got a little bit of an intro, so I'll just be quiet for a moment while you hear that. And then I will promptly change, uh... What have I done? I think it captured my mouse, now I can't do anything. <laughs> Alright, never mind, I guess I won't see how many people are in the room. <laughs> Daddy, please don't kill me.
Oh, I like Louie's idea. Make my face giant and put the game in a tiny corner of the window. I have to say, so far from what I've seen of this, this seems like much more interesting than the original Amnesia, in my opinion. And I didn't think the first one was bad or anything, I just thought that the premise was a little bit boring. Uh, well, maybe not boring is the right word, but to me it didn't appeal as much. Alright, so we're gonna see if this plays like garbage when I'm trying to stream it. It very well may. I haven't tried this yet. But I turned all the settings down really, really low. You guys are going to be very, very disappointed if I end up not being able to really play this. Good night, blind guy. Um, probably rather you didn't put spoilers for Amnesia in the chat, just like, out of courtesy, as you never know. Probably not rather see them myself. I don't like ban you or anything, but I think it probably would just be the wrong thing to do. So it looks choppy as hell to me already. Uh, I'm just gonna let it load in for a second. We gotta do this dizzy cam thing all the time. I'm not sure what that's about, but it seems like a very common thing that a lot of the time you're looking around and it's just like, it's all wiggly. And then it goes away. Uh, how dark is it to you guys? Can you see? Or should I put up the gamma more? Darkness is fine. Oh, I'm just gonna very quickly, since we're at a point where I can hit escape, I'm just gonna hit uh, over to Twitter and just tweet that I'm doing this, in case anybody cares. Just be one moment. All right, here we go. So much like the original, you could uh, hop into all of these various cupboards and such and look around. In this case, it's all steampunk because this is taking place in 1899 London. But I think the uh, the art aesthetic is pretty cool. Uh, looking around in here, oh, we've got one of those pig heads there. That's a thing. And I want to warn you in advance, like, undoubtedly when we get to the point where scary stuff's about to happen, that's where I'm going to stop playing, so... Sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to be a jerk, I just want to let you know ahead of time. In my dreams I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us, it crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The fetid heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead, my temple pounds, the blood boils in my skull. Feels as if there is something alive there, a rat, a damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Even the Londanum will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? Daddy, daddy, find us. Daddy, daddy, find us. See, as soon as we come out into these bigger, more opened areas, it just starts to get choppy for me. I don't know what that's about. So there's a few rooms we can explore around here. We've got another bedroom over here that's got some uh, more cage stuff going on around. Held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. Is that on the chair? Oh, I can just pick up the chair. I promise you this. I always really enjoyed the like the way you could in the, I think it's Penumbra as well, where you could just slide around things and like check out the exact angles you wanted to mess with them. That was a really good touch. Definitely makes it a little feel, uh, you know, more alive in the environment. 
I don't know if you necessarily need to be able to like, carry all the chairs around, but you know, then you can do silly stuff like this, which is always quite entertaining. Can I, uh, I'm gonna chuck the chair up into this... Yeah, there we go. The chandelier thingy. Oh, yeah, it bobs around pretty nicely, that's cool. Physics, man, they always help. And then there is a bathroom over here that we can go in. Okay, apparently that's a scary place. You, you can tell when scary stuff happens, usually because the, uh, the view gets a little bit distorted. You get this, like, filter that goes over the screen. When does the 1DS come out? Do you, you know what? I saw that 2DS picture a bunch of days ago, and when I saw it, I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody on Reddit was, like, playing a joke on everybody. And then when I started to see more stuff about it, I was like, what? This is, this is legit? Like, they're actually making this weird wedge? And then I realized, like, oh, well, we're dealing with Nintendo here, so yeah, of course it's legit. I think they can play with a ball, that's always fun. You see the locks on these things are freaking crazy. There's, like, the most steampunk lock in the world on every single piece of wood. And they keep evoking blood with all the wine everywhere. This is, like, a ton of wine. Okay, this door is shut. Still clicking cookies, eh? Pretty tempting. I don't blame you. Okay, scary sound happened. Can't interact with any of that stuff. Nothing under the bed. No boogeyman. But what is this on the floor over here? Do you guys... Can you figure out what this is? It just looks like a pile of skin or something. Like, weird, gross stuff. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, it's laundry, actually. There's a coat there. I just didn't understand. That one's locked as well. I guess we should just go up. I can't believe they want me to play with the 360 controller. It's like a first-person game like that. I wouldn't probably do that. Well, it's not that they want me to, but it's just an option. And isn't this... You get the lantern around here, I believe. Go in this little cubby hole. Oh, we got another note. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He is gone for work before she wakes us and often are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing, and hit it with a rolling pin. Later, we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. Oh, Daddy. Always crying about pigs. Where is that lantern? I thought it was right around here. Oh, there it is. Oh, did you see that? Alright, lantern with F. I kind of forgot you could put this thing away. I thought it once, it once it was out, it was just like out. Wow, nice job copying from PewDiePie. <laughs> I didn't actually watch whatever PewDiePie did, so... Just saying. Not that I thought you were being serious or anything. There's a pig, see? You got your way. You saw the pig. Can I go up there? Can you duck jump? No, you can't duck jump. What's going on in this direction? Got a run button, that's always good. No, absolutely nothing over here. You can't even unlatch this. Or look outside, it's still just completely opaque out there. Maybe Daddy made the machine for pigs, plot twist. I kind of thought that's what that was. I don't know. I didn't play far enough to know anything about the plot, really, so... They're hiding, Daddy. You see that? There was something up ahead. I didn't catch it, though. Didn't you know PDP patented playing horror games? <laughs> Alright, let's push this out of the way. I think I can push it over to the right. 
I'm actually not uh, sure where exactly the scary stuff really starts to happen. I probably didn't play far enough to see. I just got to the part where it's like, okay, now the frame rate's really bad. <laughs> Which was like a big open environment. I was supposed to look through the wall over there. I didn't do that, but you could have seen the uh, the carrot or the cribs rocking back and forth by themselves. Get a teddy, which I can... Can I pick it up? Oh yeah, I can. Classic rag doll. Can I throw it up into the attic? Or into the ceiling, I mean? Grab it by the arm. Oh yeah, I could totally throw it up there if I'm skilled enough. Oh, okay, maybe not. It's kind of heavy. What's on this top of this thing? Oh, it's a lion! Any scary stuff on these blocks I should know about? No, nope. not prophesizing. No. Nope. Now I'll give it to these guys, the Chinese room. They know what they're doing when it comes to horror games. I'm not exactly a horror connoisseur or anything, but I definitely think that they have the uh, the pacing well done. Uh, they have the audio ensconcement well done. You know, they they get the concept that you want to set this up uh, in a more of a long term affair. You don't want to just rush into it. And I like the fact that you can open all of these. Oh, there we go. It's another note. Yes, he said. I know these runes. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some malodorous disease. I caught him looking at me strangely, as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them. Fighting back the temptation to box his ears for the impudence, I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anyway. I have told the children, truly, this will be an extraordinary adventure. If these old stones hold the financial benefits, I predict it will be merely the first of many. So, uh, what I understood was that the father, uh, had gone on a trip. I, I'm gonna assume to the Amazon, based on what I've seen, uh, to some sort of an Aztec ruin or something. And I think he brought back some artifacts. Uh, and then when he got home, he got a fever, or as he was coming home, or before he came home, but leading to him come home, something like that. He, uh, he had a fever, and he had a bunch of nightmare dreams about a machine, and I believe it started to, like, eat into him, and he started to just become, like, compulsive about this machine. Uh, now, I believe he was an engineer of some sort, so he was probably compelled to try and build that thing. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is a curse, if this is some sort of a, you know, an infection a mental disorder, some sort of a psycho crazy thing, a supernatural thing. There's a lot of options, uh, but we're setting it up that it is going to be the uh, the dawn of a new age. The, uh, the 1900s are about to start, and we don't know exactly where this character is going to take us with that concept. I mean, he's got children, evidently, but we don't see them around. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe some sinister stuff has been going on here in this large building. This is what made me think maybe runes of that type. Uh, we've got some more artifacts here with uh, hieroglyphics of some sort on them. A few books and such. And plenty of pig heads with tattoos all over them, and we can actually play this... Uh, I forgot what you call this thing. It's not a phonograph, but it's like, uh, you know, you put a roll of spool on there with the grooves on it, and then you turn the crank, and then the sound comes out of the horn. You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful... That's like the plot of a Scooby-Doo movie. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course... Hey, Panty Miasma. ...that they have... ...concerns. Alright, so there wasn't all that much to that. Hopefully you can see the subtitles also, because I kind of talked over it a little bit there. Sorry about that. So what's going on over here? Oh! A whole lot of shaking going on. Alright, and all of a sudden the idyllic piano music just faded away into some more pretty creepy stuff. I'm not really sure what to even call it. It's just more ambient sound than anything. Alright, now we go down another hallway. More scraps of paper, none of which I can read. Ah, phone ringing. All right, let's hear that. Hello? Precious. 
precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. Precious eagle cactus fruit, help us. Good call. By the way, the face on that phone thing on the wall is kind of silly to me. It just looks like, uh... Was it uh, Bender's robot friend, the crazy one that stabs everybody? It looks kind of like that guy. See what I'm talking about? Have a look. Yeah, Roberto, thank you. I was waiting for somebody to say the name. Alright, so we've got an office here. I'm pretty sure this is an important place to be. Get this chair out of the way, because screw the chair. Can I toss it into the fan, actually? I really like to see what happens if I try to collide these objects together. I'm sure they thought of this already. Yeah, okay, there's just like a big block around it that you can't interact with at all. Uh, I also want to see if you can just like skip the puzzle and just... Oh, yeah, you can. Alright, that was a lever. So you're supposed to actually read there's a document in one of these drawers. Along with plenty more wine. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep once the children and servants are safely asleep when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I've squandered my fortune that my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to a multitude that can be applied without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. That would be the hint that tells me to uh, take my rifle. If you didn't know. You didn't know? More books. Ignorant swine, Kappa. <laughs> Certainly a lot of drinking going on in this household, that's what I've been able to tell from all of these little wine stations that are set up every ten feet. Alright, so we opened up a little secret corridor here, and there are a bunch of levers and such, and we can actually see, oh look at this, the children through the hallways. Uh, we can hit levers, and that lever is going to just shut this again. Not sure if I actually want to shut that. Uh, we've got two diverging paths here, what's down this one? Dead end. I like that you can see through the paintings, it's kind of a nice touch. Alright, so there's the other side of our office, and a little note on the wall. Alright, replacement is dissatisfactory, so like a pump. Better than, uh, better the intestinal canal, like a tapeworm, already housing, or hosting intrusion and the breed. Brass, better than copper, more resistant, filament sewn to the bone, hold. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential, composite replacement straightforward, will respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting, resulted, resulting in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subjects will still require severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn, damn it, damn this wretched soul. If only it were clockwork. Right. So there's clearly some uh, dark machinations going on here, as you might imagine. I'm pretty sure that's not anything too shocking or surprising given, you know, the title of the game and all that. This the dawning epoch, this age of reason. An empire grown fat, right for the bleeding. I want to check something real quick here. Oh, can I not do that? Oh, there it is. Oh, you know what? This isn't really unfortunate, but I'm actually going to have to stop in just a moment here. We got a little bit more shaking. If I was a betting man, I would say that the shaking has something to do with this machine that we were going to eventually discover. Okay, we've got a loading screen. Four glassy orbs fixed upon a point in heaven. Wipe down your trousers, man. There is blood in this sweat, and it must... It is must unseemly. Yeah, when it comes to links, uh, no porn whatsoever. Porn results in permanent ban. Uh, if you have a link that is relevant to what we're talking about, that is fine. Uh, if you have a link that is not relevant to what we're talking about and you're just posting stuff for no reason, that's usually a timeout. Those are the link rules. I should probably write those if I haven't already. I'm pretty sure I've written that porn is an instant ban, but... ...to be more clear. Alright, to run, hold down left shift while moving. Usually that's a hint, right? Like, if they're telling you now it's time that you might need to run, maybe then something bad's gonna happen. 
There's another note I can touch. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide-and-seek with Cook, and he came and shouted at us. Uh, just we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy. Cook says it's because of the guns in there, but he always lets us help polish them, so it can't be that. Anyway, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They are often angry, or that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling their chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like it in there anyway. Fair enough. So as you can see, uh, much like the first amnesia, it looks like we're going to be exploring a fairly large uh, mansion-like area. I mean, it's more of a castle in the original one, but you know what I mean. Uh, lovely decor, lovely art aesthetic. The attention to detail is very uh, fastidious and meticulous. And I definitely appreciate all the work that they've done to make this environment come to life. But what I'm really excited to see is the really crazy crap that we're not quite yet to. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And I'm sure we'll get there at some point. Right now it looks kind of like we're wandering around in some sort of like Bioshock environment. Not that there's a problem with that. Oh look, another one of these. I must say, my dear man, you look awful. Yes, sir. I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in that. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled. Yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is wonder for one man alone. It will all be made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. Put a lot of work into the mount. Too bad it's too dark to get the full effect. Um, well, I have to say it's probably a little bit darker on your side. I'm trying to look at how it looks in the preview window. It's Yeah, I mean, it's slightly darker. Probably not a lot darker. But right now, I don't feel like, honestly, I have any problem seeing without the torch or without the uh, lantern, I mean. So it's also up to you, like, what level of darkness you're comfortable with with the gamma. Um, personally, I tend to go a little bit brighter than I think you're probably supposed to most of the time. But that's just because, I, I, like you just said, I don't like to miss out on the geometry and the fancy texture work that they did. It feels like a waste of all their, you know, hard work doing that. I like the phone rang again. Alright, what do you have to say? Mandus, do you know me? Who are you? Where are my children? Trapped, Mandus. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain the flooding and restart the great engines. How? Where should I go? Hello? Hello? Alright, and with that, that's actually a very good uh, setup for where the game will go next, which is, uh, you know, now we have like a plot device to carry us forward. Um, I'm kind of excited to see more, you know, like I said earlier, I'm not a huge horror fan in general, I don't play a ton of horror games, but I do understand that these guys know what they're doing, and uh, they're probably the most likely of anyone to scare the crap out of me if anyone was going to. Uh, Penumbra is definitely up there amongst my list, well, my pretty short list of terrifying games, uh, right up there with Silent Hill 2 and the likes of them. So, uh, yeah, I guess with that we will move on to something else, uh, because it has been just about a half an hour now. And, uh, you know, fairly good uh, little run. I mean, I understand probably not the scary stuff that you were hoping to see. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to comply with the wishes of the people that sent me this game. So that is how that's going to go. Uh